remember Bryce was a pretty good cowboy, and so he, he put in his entrance, entrance fee for the rodeo in the Great Falls Rodeo, the fair. And I think he was riding bareback, but anyway, he, we kept to anticipate. We were sitting in the grandstand waiting for him to come out, and pretty quick it was announced Bryce E. Blackburn on whatever horse it was, and the horse came out and made two big jumps, and pretty quick Bryce was standing up straight up, <laughs> almost with his feet on top of the horse and still holding on to the <laughs> rein, <laughs> you know, the rope. And then, uh, so after two jumps, Bryce was up like that, and then just went off the horse really quick. So he said, well, that does it for me. He was joking about it. Yeah. <laughs> so was it hurt, though? No. Oh, no. He landed up probably on his feet. <laughs> you remember you, Burgess Mitchell, the Ayrshire Dairy? No. Mitchell in the Great Falls? I remember the Ayrshire Dairy, but I don't remember. Yeah, Burgess, he's a school friend of mine, or, or well, I knew him in high school, uh, that one year, and uh, went down and I'd like to sneak in and like be on the rodeo shoots and all that. And mm -hmm. yeah. I got in there one time and I'd, I'd already signed up for an exhibition ride if the cowboy don't show up. Oh, really? and they have those up for grabbing you, paying mm -hmm. five dollars. No, you don't get paid anything, just for exhibition. This was for horse or bull? Uh, horse and bull, the regular rodeo. And, uh, Fergus Mitchell <laughs> uh, picked on a uh, bareback, I think. And I picked on riding a bull. I figured that's closer to the ground a little mm -hmm. bit. That wouldn't have so <laughs> hard. To, but anyway, he got and rode his horse or tried to, and I was up on the chute, and I took I had a new steps, and then I said, "Hey, Fergie, you want to borrow my hat?" Oh, I sure'd like to borrow it, and so I put it on his head. And about that time, they opened the chute, and away he went. And about two jumps, and he was a handful of dirt. <laughs> And pretty quick they called my name and I got to ride a bull and I thought, oh, this is going to be a, an easy deal. <laughs> no way. <laughs> About one jump and I was on the ground. I mean, that, I wasn't no cowboy. <laughs> Did you have your hat back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was all, it squashed and had the soil on it and amongst other things. But, Did you guys yeah. have to break any horses? Oh, your... yeah. Oh, yeah. We so, had a lot of rodeos out in our trail. <laughs> so you were cowboys? Oh yeah, we yeah we did just a lot didn't of, stay on the rodeo things. We did a lot of breaking horses and riding our cattle. Yeah, when the folks would go to town, Dad didn't like us to do that much because the, he wanted to put weight on the cattle and sell them and make money. He didn't <laughs> want us chasing them around and <laughs> riding them and stuff. So usually it's when they went to town. Yeah, we put put on a rodeo. We had regular rodeos. <laughs> One time, Dwayne tied up a heifer, or a steer, or something and forgot he tied it up, and Dad got back from town, and there it was laying there dead, I think. Yeah, I can remember, kind of remember that, yeah. Choked it to death, because he didn't have a halter on or anything, so he just had a rope around it. Probably a slip knot on it. Yeah, a slip <laughs> knot. And there was just a cowboy loop, you know. And <laughs> get in trouble for that? Yeah. But I don't remember Dad really getting mad, just wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> Dad took uh, things with a grain of salt, didn't he? He was sure good about being calm about things. Yeah.